Hi guys, in the previous video we learned how to create Google API credentials so as well as Google API. Now the second step is to create a Spring Boot project. And we have multiple way to create a Spring Boot project, but I would prefer to create a Spring Boot project from star.spring.io. So let's first create the Spring Boot project. Right. Here by default, uh, in star.spring.io we have this, uh, by default this is Maven project. I will prefer Gradle project. Here the version is 2.7.3. This is fine for me, no problem. And I will change this group name. Now it is com.example. I will make it as beginner of techies. And the demo is what Google API. Google API integration with this Let's make it Google API integration and change this name as Google API integration. This will be the main class of Google of Spring Boot project. Okay, and I'm using element, JDK elements. I'm checking this element. And we required one more dependency over here, and that is a Spring Bay. So I, I'm just uh, adding that uh, dependency because I have to write the REST API as well. So this depend dependency will help us to create REST, REST Boot Web Services. Now I'm generating this project. Google API dot zip. Right. We have to unzip this. Now move to Eclipse and import this project. Here we have three options, but I'll import the project. And the project is in Gradle. Yeah, here, existing Gradle project. Next. Google API. Open. Finish. Importing now. Importing our project. Configure project. Right. So now, right. So import is done, and if you see, here we have these classes. The package is google dot api, form dot beginner take is dot google api, and the class name is google api integration application. Let's run this application. Right. So now we are able to run this application here, and the endpoint uh, and the port is 8080. By default, it will take 8080. We can we can customize the port as well, but that will uh, that is a different discussions. But here we will uh, like we will consider this port 8080. And let's check the builder Gradle file here. So builder Gradle file it, it, here the version is 0.0.1 .0 snapshots. And the group is being a techies and the version is 2.7.3 yeah and uh, we have added this dependency as well we started there so <coughs> everything is in place now we have to create one endpoint right so we have to create a package here 
So under controller. And here I am just adding an a one class here in the controller. Um, dashboard dashboard controller. Right. Dashboard controller. Right. So now I just wanted to create one API to test this flow like uh, I, I will just create one testing uh, restful endpoint so since this is a dashboard controller I will add annotation rest controller here then only this will behave as a controller I am just taking one endpoint over here Check. Just using that mapping. Endpoint is still. And I'm just making the return type is string check return. Checking API. Run again these applications. So every time we will learn uh, Spring Boot application from the main class. This is the main class, it's the Google API integration application. Here are the main methods. Every time we have to run Google Spring Boot project from the main. Here, right click and run this. This is running. Right, etc. So now can we we can start this uh, we can test this API from browser itself. Local eight zero eight zero. The endpoint is check. Checking API. Now we got the response here. Checking API. Right. So this is what we are returning checking API in the browser we are getting checking API so now successfully we are able to integrate the Spring Boot project over here now the next thing is we have to integrate the Google Sheet API with this project in this video we have this in this video we have to only uh, create the Spring Boot project but in the next video we will do the integration part with this Spring Boot project Thank you so much for watching.